What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? I hope you're all having an amazing day. This is Lucas, back again with another video for you guys. Man, it's been almost two weeks since I posted the last, and you guys have all been commenting, asking me where I am, what happened. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I always do my best to post at least once a week on YouTube for you guys, but once in a while, when life gets crazy, or I'm super busy, or I'm out of town, and I do slow down a bit, I'm only one message away on Instagram or Twitter, so be sure to check me out there, man. I love interacting with you guys on those social media platforms, too. One of the reasons I didn't post last week is because I was out of town. I was actually in Las Vegas for the national finals of American Ninja Warrior, not as a competitor, unfortunately, for the first time in the last two years, I was there not as a competitor, I was there as a course tester, which was actually really cool, man, but by now, you guys have already probably seen my last video where I make it official, I let the cat out of the bag, you will not be seeing me or Alexio on season 10 of American Ninja Warrior, so neither of the Brazi bros will be competing on season 10. I waited in the walk online for 27 days in Miami and I missed it by one spot. And that was heartbreaking, man. If you watched my last video, that was a really hard video to make. That was a really hard video to post. But uh, a lot of the comments that I got on that video are some of the best comments I've ever seen. Some of the most encouraging comments ever. You guys are telling me not to give up, to believe in myself, to get back out there for season 11. And I'm gonna do everything I can to get back out there season 11. But I wanted to make a video and talk to you guys about the reason I almost quit Ninja Warrior. Before we talk about that, let me just say my time in Las Vegas was incredible. Testing was incredible. Watching the finals in real life was insane. It was one of the coolest experiences ever. Being at a Ninja Warrior event live is so much fun. And a lot of the footage I got is gonna make for some of the best YouTube videos I've ever posted on this channel. I can't wait to share that stuff with you guys. So as soon as the national finals airs on TV, you already know right here on the Brozzy Bros YouTube channel, there's gonna be some incredible behind the scenes content. So get ready for that. Another thing that I gotta tell you guys about Vegas that's actually really disappointing, you might notice if you're into video, if you pay attention to the details of audio and video, this video looks a little bit different right now. I'm shooting on a cell phone, I'm shooting on my iPhone because my camera bag in Las Vegas, I think it was stolen. I left it in my lift. I took a lift, right? And uh, I called the guy the next day, I said I left my bag and he said he never saw it again. So I don't know if somebody who got in the lift after me took it or if he kept it, but my camera bag is gone. It had a bunch of footage on it that's gone and I am super frustrated about that. I'm dedicated to posting on YouTube. I wanna keep content coming for you guys. So that's why I'm shooting on a phone right now. I've already ordered a new camera, it's coming in. And that's part of the reason I didn't upload as soon as I got home from Vegas is because I had no camera to shoot on. But right now I'm shooting on an iPhone. It's all good, new camera's coming, more content will be on the way, so sorry about that. So let's get into it. In Miami, after I didn't make it in the walk online, I was super upset. I had competed three seasons in a row, seven, eight, and nine. I was the captain on Ninja vs. Ninja for a team. And season nine was my best season yet, so I thought for sure I'd be coming back for season 10, and I didn't get the call. When I didn't get the call, I was not gonna take no for an answer. I stood in line for 27 days. They ran 10 walk-ons and I was number 11. And that is when I almost had a mental breakdown. I was extremely upset that I didn't get to run this season. I decided to go back and test for the finals and I was super depressed, but I got out there and I tested. And basically the next two or three weeks after that, I was seriously rethinking my entire life. I was like, what am I doing committing so much time and energy and money into Ninja Warrior when just like that, you know, it can it can be taken away from me. In the middle of that frustration that I didn't get to compete for season 10, I went and told my wife, I'm gonna go to Vegas, I'm gonna be a course tester, which was more time, more money invested, but I knew I wanted to do it. I said, let me go test. I wanna be in Las Vegas, I wanna watch the finals live. And of course, she supports me 100%. She told me to go do it. I went out to Vegas, I got to test. Like I said, I got a bunch of cool footage that I'm gonna upload here to YouTube, the behind the scenes stuff for you guys. Towards the end of that trip, I started to decide I need to start dialing back how committed I am to this because I don't know if I'm gonna get the call next year. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it to the walk online next year. But as I was leaving Las Vegas, I was getting on a flight home and I bumped into Brian Wilczewski. And if you know Ninja Warrior, you probably know the Wilczewski brothers. They've had a team on Ninja vs. Ninja multiple times. These guys are freaking awesome, man. They were the, they were the brothers of Ninja Warrior long before Alexio and I showed up, long before the Brazi bros were there. These are really cool dudes. And I was talking to Brian and he said something to me that was so interesting. Brian competed three seasons in a row, just like I did, seven, eight, nine. I think for him it was six, seven, eight was the captain on a team for Ninja vs. Ninja, just like I was, right after his best season, just like me. And right when he was hitting his stride and he felt like he was killing it, he didn't get the call. When he told me that, I was mind blown. He and I were in the exact same situation. And he literally said, he's like, dude, I don't know why necessarily, once in a while, they give an athlete a break, and then another season, they'll bring them back. He told me that year when he took a break, he was disappointed, but he didn't stop training, he kept going hard, and he got the call the next season. And so the reality is, even though I took a break season 10, they didn't call me, 
That does not mean they're not gonna call me for season 11. Who knows, they might call me and I really believe that they will and if they don't, figuring out a way to walk on is what I have to do because I end these videos the same way every single time. I say work hard, stay focused and never quit. And when I was considering stopping, when I was considering toning it down, when I was considering backing off, you know, not being so aggressive and so passionate about it, I had that conversation with Brian and I knew, dude, how frustrated am I gonna be if I do get the call next season and I haven't been training all year? I made this video basically to tell you guys, I considered quitting American Ninja Warrior and the moment that started to settle in, I realized that would be the dumbest mistake I could make. Instead, I'm gonna train this entire year as though I'm guaranteed a spot season 11. Then when I do get the call, they're not even gonna recognize me because I'm gonna smash stage one in Vegas. And I believe I'm capable of completing stage two also. I have a whole year to train. And let's say I don't get the call next year, worst case scenario. Then I trained and I became a beast for no reason. Who cares? Being in top physical shape is amazing. Being an amazing climber is one of my goals. You can know without a doubt, I am not going anywhere. You have not seen the last of the Brazi Bros. Next year, I'm gonna submit my best application ever and season 11, I'm coming for buzzers. I'm coming for blood. I'm going straight to the jugular and I'm going to stage three. I know a lot of people doubt that's gonna happen, but I know a lot of people believe that's gonna happen. Thank you to everybody who's been subscribed, who's been watching the videos. More content is always gonna be consistently coming here of my training and keeping you guys up to date on what I'm doing. And just in case you're wondering, Alexio, the older half of the Brazi Bros, is out in California right now, living in the mountains for the summer. He's going hard right now. And everybody's gonna sleep on him because he's not out here for all the YouTube videos, but he's gonna come and he's gonna be the best version of himself for season 11 also. Our goal has always been from the very beginning to be the only brothers to both hit buzzers in stage one in Las Vegas in the same season. So season 11 will be the takeover of the Brazi Bros. I still can't believe I recently hit 50,000 subscribers. Guys, a lot of cool stuff is coming. In one of my next videos, I'm gonna be announcing something for you guys that I'm really, really excited about. So thank you guys for watching, man. Thank you guys for keeping up. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. It helps my channel out a lot. Remember guys, work hard, stay focused, and never quit. Peace out.